Afternoon, Dennis. Afternoon, dear. Um, I think probably the best thing to start with is uh, players in and out. You've lost a couple of midfield players. Yep. Um, so you've, more importantly, gone and signed another one. Ah, oh, Jermaine. Oh, yeah. He's been with for quite a while, to be honest, just been keeping him on the wraps. When he's at all the shot, there's league clubs looking at him. Um, going very well. We liked him. He scored two against us, a little bugger. Um, when they played against him, when he was their main player, I thought personally um, last season. Lovely lad, great kid. Got an injury, got an injury, but like with Giles and Clark, you know, anybody at the club, Martin, and things like that, we've been getting fitter and fitter and fitter. He played against Brentford B down here as a trailer, scores. He, um, he should have scored against QPR in the trailers game you had there, but he's ready now, so he's ready to come in to the squad tomorrow. And, um, you know, it was just, I'm delighted to get him done and delighted that um, he'll add goals to the midfield as well, which I think something we're lacking there, to be honest, if Max isn't playing and all that, you know. So we're just delighted to get him in. And, um, you know, I think it'll be a really good sign for the club, the sign at the end of the season. He's got anything to do. Um, like I say, he's really keen to be here, so I'm delighted to get him. Good. And uh, like many of your signings, he's quite big, isn't he? He's quite tall. Uh, athletic, tall, um, good on the ball. Can get a pass, wants the ball, and all that you know. Can pass the ball, and um, yeah, and the big lads who you got to have in this league. He's one of them as well, you know. So it's, uh, it talked about big. There's nobody big on Solihull by the way. Go there. So we need a, we need a bit, and you know, to compete with them, the Bromleys of the world, and that's counters and Stockport. You need some big lads to compete in both areas as well. Which we've been talking about with set players and corners. We've been working through it, and. Um, and all of us, because it's just defending the one goal, to be honest. The other side, we've scored more goals than anybody in our league from open play. That's a big stat, because people say to us, oh, you must be a set player side. We've scored more goals than any other team in our league. So, he can have the goals, but hopefully he can help with the other end of things as well, which I'm sure he will do. We've got one or two injury doubts tomorrow, so I think he'll come in the side and I think he'll do well. It, um, we've already spoken to Jermaine, and um, I, th I think his interview will go out before this one. Yeah. So people will know that he described himself as a high energy midfielder. Uh -huh. is, is he perhaps a bit similar to Solomon and Rowan in that respect? No, because they can't play every game, so they can fund two, can't sure. play every game. So I've got to have one comes in, well, like high energy in there, well, like somebody can pass the ball in there. Ince has done it well, Solomon's done it well the majority of the time. But we need a competition for places in there, and you know, and Max isn't far away at all, to be honest. You know, Eggs or Eggs gets injured on Saturday, and Rowan gets injured on Saturday, and Loza gets injured on Saturday, but it's just football, that's life, and um, we move on with the times. And, uh, but it's just good getting him in, and um, you know, he's trained well. And uh, no, I don't think it's similar. Um, I think impossible, but on him too, to be honest. And um, I just think we're, and he, he'll score a goal where Ince has got one, but Solomon hasn't scored yet, even though Solomon's done very well, making a step up. Um, I do think we need a goal from there as well, so I think he'll, he'll add up with goal power. Okay, and talking of goal power, you've uh, brought in uh, Louis Britton. Is Lewis, Louis he wants to be Lewis? called Lewis. Lewis right. But I'm going to call him Louis because I started calling him Louis and he wants to be called Lewis. Uh, Louis, it is. Um, yeah, well, listen, it doesn't take a secret to work out. I've been trying to sign the centre forward for a long time, yeah, but yeah. I can't gamble like I did last year and sign the ones, what, and, I, and we had one done and people worked done, and all of a sudden somebody got an injury. And, um, and I'm going to keep him in January, so we can't sign him permanently in January. So I've had, uh, it was disappointing because I thought I had him. But um, you know, it's somebody we've been looking at for a long time, Lewis, and um, recommended by everybody as well. And I, get, I, I used to play with Brian, Brian Tinian um, when I was at Bradford City. So we got it done quite quick. And he's going to go to sign for a professional team. Um, I say we're professional, but I mean a division above us in January years to, to play there. But in the meantime, I'm thinking, well, what's the point of hanging around there? Come and play games. I've got all the shot twice and all the big games coming up and the big game tomorrow and so on and so on. He'll do him a world of good. He's, he's finishing the training was excellent today. And um, we wish him well, good young kid, powerful. And uh, you know, we've just got to get the ball in the box to him because that's his strength. So let's do that. Right. And uh, extant players, people already here. Are you able to say anything about where Max and Rowan are in terms of fitness, or would you rather keep? Very it close, very close. Um, if we do play tomorrow, we'll play next Saturday. Um, Christian, got, like, I trust Christian more than anybody, so he tells me and all of these. Uh, I haven't got. Like, I always say to Christian, fight, fight, fight. Back at his and all that you now because I can't play players who are going to be for weeks. We need room. We need Max in the team for the run over Christmas. If we're going to miss the mother's game, which I might not, depending on. Um, Fitness tests, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, fitness tests. We um, go from it. If not, we're, we're, you know, with any possibly out as well, we'll um, we'll go. Up, we'll just get on with it. We'll, we'll go. Up, and we'll, we'll sign two players now, so we'll just we'll move forward. You know. So and then after that, this year we missed them, and this year all famous. I don't know. Hopefully we'll play, but this year next week and all that. And we have got a thing where we've got any back blinking. Uh, who will make a four up front, which we want four players up front to play a two or three. 
then we've got Max Buck, which is great. The season he's in, we've got Ruan Buck, which is great because you know there's a club coming for Ruan to be honest, and he's turned it down. He's happy here and offered money to the football club. And, um, we've turned it down, and um, you know it's um, it's one of them where we're delighted how the squad's moving forward. They've done well, the lads, to get where they are at the minute. Just a little bit tweaking here, and maybe like Saturday we'll watch the video back, and we're quite pleased how a lot of things done. If we scored just before half time for Loza, for example, not looking on Loza, and if we scored just after any and all that, then it would have been a good deal at the office because we conceded a last minute by a set player then it was an awful day at the office I get that but things aren't as bad as people are making out and you know we're alright as a team and um, we just need to put these little things what we're working on every day in training put them to bed and the lads will the lads will be miles better defensively we, we're not we're not concede off a set player at the moment you watch I hope not um, yeah I think um, there has been a bit of chatter about signing a centre forward and, and now you sign a midfield player when you yourself keep saying that it's yep. the defence that's causing us problems. But then having said that, you've, you've also got Louis Annesley. You yeah, who's done fairly well, well. Kid, no, I've got, like, we, we never conceded eight set play in the first nine games. It's really because it's been thrown in, isn't it? And um, I believe in the defenders at the club. I think they've got some good defenders. It's um, we've put Tyreek in there and Blocky in there as well, who Blocky's trained all week and played 45, 50 minutes and we've got Tyreek to come in as well, the two wing backs and the defenders we've got plus Louis. I think the defence is good enough. Shoot us down if you want, but I think we'll be fine at defensive. I just think we're having a bit of a bad time. If you look at the first nine games, then um they were the best in the league. It's just so happened we've turned the last couple of games defensively. But um on the training ground I believe we've got, we've got experienced players there and I believe they'll sort it out. Again, that's on my head, but I believe that. Okay. Um you had the Behind closed doors, friendly with QPR on Tuesday. What, what did you learn from that? But he, he done well as a young kid, Carl Shane, who done well as well in the games. Um, it, we obviously, put the young lads like Skinner's played for 60, 70 minutes, so that's a plus and all for the young kids coming in. I thought Louis Hamlin was excellent and all that, you know. I really did think he done well. Um, you know, obviously, played the game, which was great because obviously, he missed the game through illness and last Saturday and all that when we went to smudge. Um, so there's a lot of good pluses coming in, and um, you know, um, especially Jimmy and playing as well, nearly scoring on the outside the box. Um, you know, he, he done well in the game as well, but you need another ninety minute blur. So um, it's more about getting lads fitness. You put a good side out. We had a good side out. Four or five of players who were on the bench for them the previous night. So I was delighted with the outcome, and um, you know, we, we've got to keep on. Like, we want to be the best friends ever to QPR, to Arsenal, to Tottenham. That's the things where in a January window it's going to be massive for us. Um, to give another push, and um, I think that's what everyone wants to do. Okay, and uh, tomorrow away to Solihull, you've you've said already yourself that people talk about Woking being the land of the giants, and that's even more so. Yeah, I do. Do, do they play in a, in a very direct sort of yeah, way? I think they'll pass it. And I think Neil Ollie's an outstanding manager, he managed the football league and done really well there. And um, so he knows what he's doing. He knows exactly how we'll play. We know exactly how we'll play. We've been studying them all week. He would have been studying us all week. Um, if I were two new signings, do play. But I'm not so sure. To be honest, I'm not playing main games. I'm not good enough for that. But he, he would have known what they're about and would have been just like we do to them. So it's cat and mouse. We, you know, we looking forward to the game. Next two games, people say tough, but we're all tough. Um, so um, we've just got to get, get back to winning ways as quick as we possibly can. And this team, I believe, has got a run in them where we get um, we we'll win one, two games. We'll be flying and. Um, we're, we're also the, the training camp's brilliant. It's really good. Um, you know, it's, togetherness is good and all that. You know, we, we know that we've got to cut out the mistakes. Not really performances, but the mistakes. What we make and once we do that, we'll be a good side again. Okay. And uh, finally, we talked a lot about the players coming in. I think we should mention the ones going out. I yep. probably should have put these two things together. So sure. I've messed up the order. So apologies for that. No problem, Kane Thompson, Summers. Did Birmingham recall him, or did he ask to go back? Or? It's a thing that, which I didn't know. It's a, so, um, Kane came to see us and um, said he'd like to go back as lack of game time and all that, you know, and stuff like that. We sort of said, all right, but we didn't realise we had, had to keep him till the end of January. Um, till January. So once I found that out, um, he's on standby. That's what he is. He's on standby. So but basically he's back at Birmingham training there every day and we haven't seen him. But just in case we need him for next Tuesday in the Subway Senior Cup, for example, we'll drag him back down for them. But yeah, he's, um, he's up there. And um, you know, good luck with that. Yeah, I suppose it, he, he came, I mean, I interviewed him before the season started yeah. and he said he'd come because he needed regular first-team men's football and, and he just hasn't really had that, has he? 
No, he hasn't. And um, he hasn't uh, had to. Ch- he hasn't got in. To be honest, that's no, honest no, truth. No, is no. you know, and he's a young kid, a, a new, nice kid. So I wish him well. And you know, if the next loan comes up for him or next move comes up for him, I'll, I'll give a loan reference because he's a really good young kid. It was always going to be at the start of the season and make us squad wise. You know, to get numbers in the squad. But if he hasn't got in, no, we probably won't get in if you like. And uh, you know, bless his heart, he's tried very, very hard. And um, we wish him well. Good young player. So uh, we wish him well at Birmingham or wherever else he goes. A really good, good young kid. Sure. And then finally, um, John Maguire Drew. Is there a tail? <laughs> I'm getting battered a bit about that, aren't I? You are a bit. I'm getting battered. I realise I'm getting there to stick about it. And um, I was willing to. Then I have just kept my mouth shut because I'm getting stick. It's out to me. If anybody else gets stick, I was trying to protect the kid. That's what I was trying to do, protect the club. I was trying to be a good human being, David. That's what I was trying to do. So. You know, to put it in a nutshell, because people see it, I was thinking, people are thinking, you've got to see us something else, you've got to see us something else. But I just let it go because I thought, what's the point of football? I've seen some things in my team, but. So uh, he comes in, after we, we spent thousands of pounds on him, absolutely thousands, getting him fit, and Christian Jolly, who's devastated, is getting him fit and spent. He's only played a couple of games, but we've done a rehab, we've got him a right treatment, we've sent him everywhere we can to get it done, and things like that. And, you know, we've done everything we possibly can for the lad to get it done. And then, um, you know, at the start of the season, I said, oh, it's a great club and, you got, you know, blah, blah. And, if you, you know, if, if things don't work out, well, so uh, you come all emotional, all teary um, at the training ground in front of the lads, some of the lads as well. He's all emotional, everything else. And he's, um, you know, he's come across and said, you know, I'm not a good place if you like and whatever. And um, I thought, uh, my mind took, I thought, well, you all right yesterday, to be honest, and all that and stuff like that. Then, um, he said, oh, you know, it's not, you know, I've been trying to show a great face and all that, but you know, I, I don't want to do football and all that. And I said, well, you're getting good money here, boy, honestly, you're on good money and all that, you know. I'll live off my savings, that's what I'll do, I'll just live off my savings and all that. And I, I thought emotion in his face and, you know, all that was right. And he says, so, okay, so I, I was up, it's a human being, I thought I've got to help the lad out. So I said, okay, I'll take it on the chin for you and just say, okay, you can go, you go. He went out to Jeff, Hop, um, Jeff Chapel's house, he said he hasn't got another club to go to, he just wants to change the scenery. Again, I thought it was the best thing as a human being. It's okay if you're struggling up there, if you like, or you're st- you've got problems. And um, I wanted to protect him because I felt at the time he, he's like teary and things like that. He wasn't very emotional and things like that. Um, that's, that was the right thing to do as a human being, as a manager. So I said, okay, that's fine, we'll let you go. I hope you're going to be all right. Life. If you want any help outside of football, I'll give him it or we will give him it. I wish him all the best. If he's living off his savings, great. Then you find out three and a half later he's signed for Grimsby and could have been earlier because he's done an interview. Which says that he, he's already talking when we got injured, when he's injured there, and he's done an interview. And a uh, manager who's done an interview saying, Oh, I hope the same on the Friday when he talked to me. The only one who's looked at the mug is me. I was just trying to be a good human being. That's what I was trying to do. Sure. I do a right thing for the club because we stand by my models that the club will look after players. Um, and I stand by that. I'll call them nobody else will. We knew. Lads know that I will see something daft on here or daft in the papers to get everybody off their back on the main. It's been on my back all week and people question us from up here and down there. I was just trying to be more right for the player, that's what I was trying to do. And let's just, finally, let's just be very clear then, uh, absolutely unequivocally, there was no suggestion whatsoever when you spoke to Jordan that he had somewhere else to go. He, he promised us that wasn't the case. He said that he, he, he could live off his savings, he had money in the bank, he could live off his savings. And I wasn't going to say no because everybody's been telling us to say something, me staff, people. Um, but I haven't because I thought, well, the only one who's getting sticks me, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, I so I massively, I feel let down in football, to be honest. I'm, I'm honest. not surprised. Okay. We'll leave it there. Uh, best of luck at Solihull tomorrow. Thanks for your time this afternoon. Magic. Cheers.